Nation of Buffness, Chef El Chicano here with the unibrow of justice and truth to help you out. If you want to start a YouTube fitness channel or maybe if you want to become a personal trainer, real talk, real advice I'm going to give you today. Ignore the ominous light. I just like how it makes my striations look. Okay, looks like a drug deal is going down. But uh, I'm really going to try and give you the key points. If I had to do all this all over again to start a channel, key points how to avoid the most common pitfalls. Because the simple fact about YouTube fitness, more people are starting channels every single day. There's now thousands of people starting channels. When I started making videos, or I started getting serious approximately two years ago, there's only a couple hundred. Now there's more people than ever. And that's a problem if you're content to be mediocre. Because gone are the days where you can just kind of stand in front of a camera, a shitty web camera, with the camera being off center and drone on for 10 to 15 minutes about absolutely nothing. These days, you have to be unique, you have to provide something. And most importantly, my number one tip is that don't do this for the money, kids. It's called love of the craft or love of money. You gotta decide ultimately in life if you're a hot dog or if you're a wiener. I enjoy doing this, right? I derive entertainment from setting this up, from filming the videos, from the interactions. I like it. If you want to know how much money I make or other fitness YouTube YouTubers, take our total that you think we make and divide it by 10. Easily. Because I actually have like Brandon Campbell, Elliot Hulse. I have a real job, right? I'm actually a successful personal trainer, nutritionist, and on the side, I do this because I like it. So if you're trying to do this for money, it ain't going to happen. You have to do this because you like and you truly, I mean truly, like helping people out and you just enjoy this interaction and helping people become the best that they can be. If that's not you, quit right now. The second biggest tip, there's a direct correlation between your body image and how many people will watch you. It's unfortunate, but it's true. The number one deciding factor on the channel's, on a channel's initial success will be the size of the individual. As long as the person is not a complete tool and doesn't just spew stupid shit out of their mouth. If they're jacked and they put out frequent videos, they will be successful. So if that's not you once again, so you're not in it for the money, hopefully. If you're not jacked, that's okay. Right? Because even though that's the big advantage in YouTube fitness, most people care about parents rather than the content. That's cool. Is you have to focus on the third part. The most important part for you is content, being unique, providing real value to people, right? Because let's be honest, there are some smart people on YouTube, but what's smarter still is reading a book. So if you're just gonna regurgitate knowledge, it's been done before. You gotta have, you hopefully, you have to try and give information in maybe a more easily digestible manner, make it more entertaining, uh, just be more consistent, be more thorough, simplified some way. You gotta take what's out there and make it your own. I am Chef Bub, I'm unique, I'm Omar Isaf. Good, bad, and the ugly, it's all me, right? So, my number one focus on my channel is being me. If people wanna watch, fan fucking tastic. If they don't, that's okay, right? You have to be you, you have to be unique. Gone are the days, I told you, of being mediocre. So you have to choose to excel. If you want to do well at something, you have to put in the time and effort. Which brings me to the big point with starting a YouTube fitness channel. Consistency, okay? You have to develop a relationship with your audience. And in order to do that, they should expect solid content on a regular basis. I don't care if you do it two times a week, three times a week, five times a week, but you have to commit to a schedule, you have to listen to your you know, fan feedback, and start determining what your niche is. Your niche is that special segment, the unique segment of the population that will like your shit. You should start crafting your content towards those people. Me, I craft it for people that just want to be bad motherfuckers, and so far it's been successful. That's my niche. Maybe you want to be a vegetarian powerlifter. More power to you. Find your niche and go full on into it. Find others that also belong to that segment and try and start networking. And that's another big point I want to uh, make. If you're a new uh, content producer, you're just starting YouTube fitness, stop this shit of trying to send me links, you know, asking me to share your page. I don't know you. 
You have to develop a relationship with other YouTubers over time. My first collaboration occurred after I had 25 or 20,000 of my own unique fans. I waited a long time because I wanted to establish that starting base. There are no easy ways, I told you, besides just honestly looking jacked out of your mind, being unnaturally natural. That's the only advantage uh, someone may have on YouTube. Other than that, you have to take the time, put out that content and keep it consistently good. With time, you'll attract followers. You can't just pay for them and ask, you know, for shoutouts and keep putting out shitty content. So, the number one thing when people ask me to uh, point out their channel or take a look, it looks the same like everybody else's. If you're going to be doing cooking videos, going over your macros, showing a shitty angle of you training, it's been done before and it's going to be done again and again in the future. Being unique, you know, I like to say some of my videos, I put out a lot of great uh, videos, form videos, the anatomy videos, delving more into the science while not making it boring as fuck. Uh, maybe some entertaining videos, you know, Brady Brosif, uh, maybe some of the collabs I do with other fitness YouTubers, really keeping it more fun and entertaining, getting the whole package. That's what I try and do. So you have to figure out what your market is, what your niche is, and then appeal directly to them. Gone are the days of being bland, maybe a jack of all trades, you'll end up being a master of none. Or also, most importantly, not being real. Right? We have some people on here where it's obvious what they're doing, right? They don't care about a community, they don't care about helping you, they're just after that money. So, you have to decide, do you want to sell your soul, or do you want to keep it real? Kids, I always recommend maintaining your integrity and keeping it real. And if you do it, build it! If you build it, they will come, right? It took me a while to get my subscribers, but now I'm getting more and more every single day. My channel is one of the, the fastest growing. I have that uh, successful t-shirt line because people now like the content that I produce. They buy it for those shirts. So I'm able, through just being true to myself, taking the slow yet steady road, learning along the way, I've been able to become more successful than if I try to go over some shortcuts or, you know, if I try to beg other fitness YouTubers like a lot of people do now for subscribers. So, ultimately, if I had to break it down, do this because you want to do it and you want to help people. Don't do it for the money. Second of all, be unique. Be you. Find your niche. Appeal to it. Develop it. Find others like that. Three, consistently put out solid content to keep viewers coming back for more. So develop that consistency, that frequency. You got good content that's unique. You're doing it because you're passionate and you're putting out frequent content. You do that enough and you eventually will be successful. So that's my advice for a lot of you guys wanting to start a fitness channel. That's it. That's the video. You gotta be you. You gotta have integrity. I gotta do a drug deal now that, you know, this light, this, I gotta shut off this camera. Chef Buff Farmy, thank you. As always, for watching my video. If you like my video, make sure to like my video. And if you're not a subscriber, fuck you waiting for. I'll be seeing all you guys, my zealous army, in the next video. Peace.